Hey there. Till now we have loaded data and save it. Sometimes you want to process only few set of data instead of the entire data view. In this session we will learn how we can filter out the data. I have created a folder for session 21. In this ESA file I have added two additional rows. One has the NAN in the experience and another has the NAN in the salary. And here just loaded the content of the CSV file and generated its preview. Let's start with the shuffling. Sometimes data in the training data set are sorted. To shuffle the data we can use the context.data.shuffle rows. Generate preview after the shuffling. Let put the debugger before shuffling. Open the program.cs file. Execute the session 21 demo. Save all the files and run the project. Here debugger hits. Open the preview in the quick watch. You can see that we have the data that sorted on the years of experience. Suffer it. Open the year preview again. Now you can see that the data is not in the same order. In this example, we have 26 records. We have loaded all of them into the data view. Sometimes we just only want predefined number of element only. Like you just want to use the first hundred record for the processing. Does not matter how large is your data set. Or you does not want to use the only first hundred records and select the other records. For this we can use the take rows or the skip rows method. Let us want to skip the first eight rows and process the further rest of data. For this call the context.data.skip rows and pass data view and it generate preview. In the another example, we want to just obtain those first eight rows. For this call the context.data.take rows and pass the data view and it Generate preview. Save all the files and run the project. Open preview in the watch. Here you can see that it contains the 18 records. The first 8 records are skipped. Continue it. And here it includes just 8 record as we have mentioned it. Here we have filter out data based on its index. But mostly we need to filter it based on the value it has. For this we need to use the filter rows by column. In this example, I am going to load the data for experience having the value between 3 to 6 years. Pass the data view. Name of the column that you want to filter, that is years of experience. Lower bound will be a 3 and upper bound will be 6. Generate preview. Save the file and run the project. Execute the LDA filtering. Open the quick watch. Here you can see that it includes just 13 records. As I said previously, our data contains the NN value, which is known as the missing data. Usually we need to skip the data having the missing value. 
for example we do not have the uh, salary amount but we have the uh, values for the years of experience and uh, vice versa this has become useless because in the our example we need both value for example if we do not have the uh, salary amount but have the uh, values for the years of experience and uh, vice versa this become the useless for us because in the our example we need both values ml.net provide a method to filtering out the data with the missing value for this we need to use the filter rows by missing values and pass the data view and name of the column for which you are checking the missing value here i am going to remove the record having missing value in the salary generate preview save the files and run the project Open the quick watch. Here you can see that it includes the 25 rows. One row is removed. Not that, it just removed the row which has the missing value for the salary. It still shows the record having the missing value in the experience column. Let's see what we have learned in this session. ML.net provide a various method in the data operation catalog for filtering out the data. Using the shuffle row, we can shuffle the data. Using the skip row, we can skip the mentioned number of rows. Using the take rows, we can obtain the number of rows. In the filter rows by column, we can filter the data based on the value. For this, we need to pass the values for the column name, upper bound, and the lower bound. Using the filter rows by missing value, we can remove the record having the missing values in the specific column. See you in the next session.